presentation T39 English Splicer. In this video we will demonstrate how to splice a 900 micron diameter fiber. We will be using a Somitomo T39 core alignment fusion splicer and a Somitomo FC6 precision cleave tool. We will also need some cleaning fluid and lymph-free wipes. Cleaning the fiber is a very important part of the splicing process. We need buffer strippers for removing the 900 micron and 250 micron buffers, some splice protection to protect the exposed fiber, and of course some 900 micron fiber. Turn the fusion splicer on. The fusion splicer will automatically carry out several control tests in order to check that all is ready for the splice process. Before beginning, please check if the arc test was done in the menu parameters by pushing the square pink button. This test is necessary to compensate for the atmospheric conditions and the aging of the electrodes. Next, use the menu keys and the cursor buttons to select the fiber program required from the condition change menu. The Somitomo splicer offers more than 40 programs for splicing all the fibers of the news generations on the market. In this instance, we select single mode and then push the right arrow Select function to choose the heater conditions. In this example, we have selected 40 millimeters. Then return back to the main screen. We now take a splice protector and place it on the fiber. Taking a tri-hole buffer stripper from Somitomo, first use the middle hole to remove the 900 micron protective layer from the 40 millimeter section of the fiber end. Then use the third hole of the stripper to remove the 250 micron buffer, leaving us with the 125 micron inner fiber. We now need to clean the fiber to remove any dirt and grease residues that may be on the end of the fiber. Put some fluid onto the lymph-free wipe and pinching the fiber between our fingers, we clean until we hear a squeak. Open the cleave tool and making sure the cleave wheel carriage is positioned to the front, place the fiber into the cleave tool. Close the fiber holder to secure the fiber in place. Close the clamp that holds the fiber across the cleave wheel. Slowly push the cleave wheel carriage to the rear. Do this slowly to produce a good cleave. Then open the fiber holder and remove the fiber. Open the windshield, open the fiber clamps and place the fiber slightly to one side of the electrodes. Shut the clamp to hold the fiber in place. We now need to reset the cleave tool and repeat the process with the second 900 micron fiber. Once the fiber has been cleaved, it is very delicate so great care should be taken to ensure the end is not stabbed at any point while loading it into the splice machine. The trick to having a very good splice is having a very good cleave angle. Once both fibers are loaded into the splicer, shut the windshield and ensure that the fibers aren't restricted in any way. The splicer will now bring the fibers together using both the X and Y axes. It will align the fiber cores and then fuse them together. Once the splicer has completed the splice, an estimated loss is displayed on the screen. Here we have a loss of 0.01 decibels. This is a very good result. Open the windshield. This initiates a tension test to check the strength of the splice. The Sumitomo T39 splicer also has an oven in order to increase productivity on the field. Place the splice protector on the exposed area in the middle. Then open the cleave tool ready to receive the fiber, making sure that the cleave wheel carriage is positioned to the front. Place the cleaved fiber in the oven. Closing the lid will apply tension to the fiber. The heat switch is on automatically when you close the lid. Whilst the splice protector is shrinking, 
we can apply the splice process. The red light will go out after about 35 seconds and then the process is complete. <laughs>